to leave. The master of understatement as ever. Oh, I need to know where those tanks are coming from. I'm tracking several transport helicopters moving into the city. There are more on the way. Activate the Batmobile weapon diagnostics. It's time to go to war. more tanks at Panessa Studios. I've warned GCPD to pull their men off the streets. I'm heading there now. Come in, all units. This is Commissioner Gordon. We have numerous hostile tanks deployed across the city. Gotham is under attack. I want everyone off the streets and back to GCPD. We're not equipped to deal with what's out there. Thank God there's someone who is. they can resume their patrols. The tanks have been dealt with. Thank God. Let's hope they were the last. Don't count on it. I need the isolation chamber prepped at the GCPD lockup. I'm bringing in Ivy. <laughs> Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. D. 
deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads, Ophelia. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. <laughs> 